Yo, what is up Zombie Nation, it's your boy Dame and we're back with a brand new video of your source for COD Zombies news, zombie information and everything that you need to know about zombies. Guys, let's go get it. It's juicy, it's spicy, it's a like go of 115 likes. Guys, go in there and smash that thumb, make it blue, you know how we do. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you are, make sure to hit that little bell so you're notified of when I upload. It has been a huge 24 hours in the COD Zombies community. We're only going to talk about a fraction of the stories in today's video. I'm not going to make you wait any longer. So without further ado, let's get straight into that video. So the first story today, we all just got an update for Infinite Warfare Zombies patch update 1.13 and oh my god, we got so, so much within this update. We had all the soul challenges added for Shaolin Shuffle, the brand new DLC map that is coming next week. We have brand new Fate and Fortune cards. The Zombies level cap has been lifted, it has gone from 420 baby up till 620 and we've even had all the trophies. For Shaolin Shuffle. With the release of the Soul Challenges and the Trophies themselves, we've got some awesome information of what we are actually expecting in the brand new upcoming DLC, Shaolin Shuffle. I'm not going to go into too much detail about all the Soul Challenges, but there are a couple that I would quickly like to talk about. The first one is I Heart New York. It reads, Kill Using the Rat King's Heart. This has me so excited. This actually means that we're going to be getting some type of brand new weapon. We all thought it was just going to be melee attacks, but we're getting some brand new weapon, which it seems like the Rat King himself will drop after we've killed him. We have no idea what the abilities of this weapon is. There has been some rumors that it may be like the Skull of Non Sopwe from Zetsubo no Shima, but again, it's just speculation is now, but this is confirmation there is going to be brand new weapons along with the next soul challenge called Peep This. Also says, upgrade weapons. In New York City now this could mean any type of weapons but we've never had a soul challenge for actually upgrading or pack a punching normal weapons so this can also kind of confirm that we are indeed gonna get some brand new weapons in Shaolin Shovel which is amazing news of course we all know we're gonna get the katana we're gonna be getting the nunchucks and also within these soul challenges you can also say that we're able to double pack a punch these particular weapons so it seems like they're going to be available for any of us right at the beginning of the game which is absolutely Awesome. Another amazing soul challenge and something that gives away a lot for what's coming in Shaolin Shuffle is a Vermin Hack. Now as some as you may know, Lee Ross has been hinting and putting tweets on up on his Twitter about the anonymous Rat King in New York City. Well, we all believe this is the main boss, but there is a soul challenge that says Vermin Mac kill the Rat King. And as you can see, there are tears, meaning you have to kill this Rat King a few times to actually complete the soul challenge. Now we don't believe that this is going to be tied to the main easter egg because that means you would have to do the main easter egg 20 or 30 times to actually unlock this calling card but what we do believe is the Rat King himself will be like the slasher in Raven and Redwoods and we will also be getting a Rat King boss fight so just like Raven and Redwoods we had the small slasher and when we got to the boss fight we had the big slasher so so hyped about this a lot of confirmations tiny bit of speculation but more confirmation if anything but the most important soul challenge or challenge, something brand new that we haven't had yet in through Zombies in Spaceland, through Raven and Redwoods, but Shaolin Shuffle come out and we've got a brand new challenge called Secret. There is no information on this challenge whatsoever. It says classified, as you can see with the image on screen now, and it says unlocked at max tier. Speculation right now that this could be for every Easter egg you complete could be an extra tier. What is weird is they released it for Shaolin Shuffle and they didn't release it for Zombies in Spaceland nor did they release it for DLC 4. So again it's just speculation for now but it is awesome to have a secret achievement so this is going to make the East Egg Hunters go crazy trying to figure out exactly how to unlock this. If you want to hear more about the trophies and all the soul challenges just ask in the comments below and I'm more than willing to make a video going into a hell of a lot more detail about everything that has been added in this update. The next story today comes from such a special person right now. Yes, the one, the only, Lee Ross. He posted a tweet up on his Twitter about 13 hours ago and it reads, Anybody have a quarter? I'm dying to play a game. Cool looking sunglasses emoji. Hashtag DLC2. And it's Ghost and Skulls, guys. It's not actually called Ghost and Skulls. It's called Skull Buster. And for some of us, this is not so great news. As we all know, the infamous Ghost and Skulls Easter egg 
is one of the hardest easter eggs in Call of Duty history and we thought we'd seen the last of it in Ghost in the Skulls 2 because of the time differences but no, they have renamed the game, it is called Skull Buster. We have no idea what the gameplay is like, we don't know if it's going to be exactly the same. It's obviously not going to be exactly the same because there was a difference between Ghost in the Skulls 1 and Ghost in the Skulls 2. So it's going to be really, really awesome to see what they're going to do with Skull Buster. Not only that, this is most definitely a skill based easter egg, it's going to take a long time time to solve. The difficulty of the easter eggs in Infinite Warfare are beyond any other. They are so, so hard. But nonetheless, I am excited to get into Skull Buster, even if it does take me a thousand tries to complete it. Guys, let me know what you're about this. I know there's a lot of different opinions about the Ghost and Skulls. We don't know what's inside the machine yet with Skull Busters. On the machine, we can still see the blue grid. So it kind of feels like it's going to be the same. But obviously the mechanics inside the actual machine are going to be different. I mean, we've been getting some hella dope leaks lately and it's just been absolutely crazy. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. would really like to know. There's obviously mixed opinions about it. So I would like to read through and see what you guys think. The next story today comes from Brian Bright. If you don't know who Brian Bright is, Brian Bright is project director for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Zombies. He posted a tweet upon his Twitter yesterday and it reads... Here's a glimpse of some of the UI in hashtag Shaolin Shuffle, hashtag IWZombies, hashtag DLC2, at Lee Ross and at Chris A. Piero. He posted out some images of the HUD. As you can see, the first one on the left hand side is going to be our player cards. In the past two maps, our player cards have been exactly the same, but in Shaolin Shuffle, we actually have a driver's license, yes. I've had a few people tell me this is a reference to the taxi film in the 1970s. There was an infamous film called Taxi Driver. And there's a lot of speculation that this was inspired by the actual film. On the right hand side, we also have a picture of a crane. Now as we know, crane is going to be one of the chi martial arts styles within Shaolin Shuffle. And they are actually upgradable. Yes, you can actually upgrade your she abilities and as you can see with the crane picture on the right there are free spaces it seems like you can pick up either items or maybe you have to get a certain amount of kills that is only speculation right now but what is not speculation is the fact you can upgrade your cheese styles each and every one the snake the tiger of the crane all of them from what i've saw so far within this game as far as collecting items there are going to be absolutely loads and on the picture on the bottom, it seems what looks like to be a blank newspaper. This is what we think is going to be our sticker pack like we used to get in Zombies in Spaceland. You have to collect all the stickers to complete the sticker pack. It seems like they're going that way again with Shaolin Shuffle, but this time they're using newspaper and newspaper clippings. As we know from the trophies, you have to collect newspaper clippings throughout the game. You can also collect scraps of paper with bios on from the four original characters, for example, Andre and Sally. As we can see in that picture, there's about 10 different spots. We don't know if that's the full image either, but there are going to be a lot of collectibles within Shaolin Shuffle. There, this is going to keep us really, really, <laughs> really busy. I am so, I'm just overhyped right now. My hype level wasn't that big two days ago, but since all these leaks that are coming out, the pictures from Brian Bright, the hints from Lee Ross, it is hype overload right now unfortunately for some of us the hype has been knocked down a little tiny bit because the outro and intro was leaked now we have no idea who leaked it we do find that it was a coincidence that it was actually leaked literally two to three hours after black ops 2 compatibility came out but me myself i wasn't too hyped about a six-year-old game i was more hyped for the pictures guys let me know your thoughts about these pictures in the comments below. Really would like to know what you got to think about this. It's, I'm really hyped. I really can't wait. There's like six days left before the hunt starts. Can't wait. And for the last story today, this one means the absolute world to me. I've started a brand new show yesterday called Zombie Round Table. A big shout out to Howard Schillin for the actual name of the show. It's an awesome name. So guys, we're going to be making it a weekly event. We may miss it next Tuesday because it's the release of Shaolin Shuffle. But we're going to be doing a podcast every single week where we talk about zombies. In last night's podcast, I had some of my good, good friends in there. Goes by the name of Warhawk Gamer 82 Mad Cow, Moo, and Mr. Lesky13 Gaming. Well, within this podcast, the first podcast I have ever attempted on YouTube, the one, the only, Lee Ross came into the live stream. It was one of the biggest moments in my YouTube career and my friends. It was, it was beyond us. It was absolutely amazing. 
but we asked some awesome, awesome questions and the man, Lee Ross, replied to all of them. Now, Lee Ross only jumped into the actual live chat. He wasn't actually in our party, so it was very hard for me to pull out the live chat as I only managed to take a few screenshots. But some of the things we were told were things like, we're going to be able to kick in Shaolin Shuffle. Yes, as you know, we can actually see our feet within Infinite Warfare. And <laughs> Lee Ross actually said within the chat, within the live stream, that we're going to be able to, quote, kick zombies in the gut. If I do find an image, I will put it on screen. Now, of course, you guys are going to be very skeptical and say that is a fake Lee Ross. But I can indeed confirm from my main man, Warhawk Gamer 82 he actually DM'd my friend and said, I am watching your live stream right now. It was confirmed. He followed me straight after when we asked as well, which also confirmed that Lee Ross was in the chat yesterday. And he was giving away so much information, it was crazy. But for me, the most important bit of information that we got out of Lee Ross in yesterday's live stream, we asked Lee Ross, is there another song Easter egg in Raving the Redwoods? And he said no. I'm, I apologize guys, I'm the one who's been keeping that alive. M my sources were wrong, I'm gonna come straight out and apologize. There are no more musical Easter eggs in Raven the Redwoods. Whilst in this ring we asked, Lee Ross, is there any more in Raven the Redwoods? Are we wasting our time searching for more Easter eggs? Lee Ross replies, has everything been solved in Raven the Redwoods? Nope, but completing things will take time and patience. Cool looking sunglasses emoji. You have never heard a bunch of men fangirl so much in your life. It was one of the most awesome streams I've ever done. Guys, there's going to be a link in the description. You're obviously not going to be able to see the live chat at the time, but we do kind of repeat his answers within that live stream. So I'm going to put a link in the description. There is a timestamp to when Lee Ross actually enters the stream. This is awesome, guys. There are more Easter eggs in Raven and Redwoods. We also quizzed Lee Ross about many, many other things. And one thing that's been playing on my mind for such a long time, and he didn't somewhat confirm it completely, but we asked, Lee Ross, that skull token you get for doing Ghost in the Skulls 2, is the only use to revives for it? And all that Lee Ross responds is, hmm. <laughs> that was it. Hmm. Hashtag hmm in the chat. That is in confirmation, but I thought I'd chuck it in there. Again, this don't confirm it for us. But I'm inclined to believe that that skull token from Ghost in the Skulls 2 may actually be usable in Shaolin Shuffle. Again, I could be wrong. It's only speculation on basically an expression, hum. But either way, we asked a question and we got an answer and I'm more hyped than ever about it. Guys, if you're on Twitter, go over and thank Lee Ross for jumping into Damon at Game Stream the other day. It made all of our world. It made for an awesome stream. I haven't seen him jump into many streams, so we were all very, very hyped. Guys, Shaolin Shuffle is just around the corner. You should be more hyped than ever. The game looks amazing. We've got brand new weapons. We've got a brand new version of Ghost and Skulls. We have a cheat ability that we can upgrade and master all at the same time. Information overload. Too much to fit in another video, so I'm going to be making another news video tomorrow. And I've got so many more stories around the internet. For anybody that made it out to the stream yesterday, I just want to give you a personal thank you for the support. It was absolutely amazing. Honestly, one of the best days in my YouTube career so far. And I've been doing YouTube for over four years. So guys, thank you. Today's emblem of the day was made by Stell Bread over on Twitter. He goes at Damon at Game, at another UK gamer. Division 9 emblem took me a little bit like the Jap symbols. Post up an awesome Division 9 emblem from the Black Ops franchise, Stellbred. Absolutely awesome work, dude. Congratulations, GG. Big shout out to you, Stellbred. Thank you so, so much. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. If you don't know, I have a Patreon account at the minute, as times are very, very hard on YouTube. So this is a decent way to support me and the channel so I can keep making content, keep bringing you that content. But I'd like to give a huge shout out for my first supporter over on Patreon. His name goes by James Rhodes. He pledged $10 to support the Damon That Game channel. James Rhodes, thank you so much for supporting the channel, my man. It means an awful lot to me. Thank you so much for the support. Anybody else that would like to help support the Damon That Game channel, there's a Patreon link 
in the description. And guys, that is it. That is today's video. There's going to be another video tomorrow and probably a live stream tonight. But guys, if you've got any questions about today's video, bang them in the comments down below. I will try my absolute best to reply. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to go and hit that like button. We're trying to hit that like goal of 115 likes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And if you are, hit that little bell. But guys, this has been Dane. This has been another episode of your source of COD Zombies news, zombie information, and everything that you need to know about zombies. But until the next video, this is your boy Dane. Animal!